Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a video that I didn't really want to do, but I felt it was necessary because last week I learned that one of my favorite hair care companies, Reve Essentials, decided to close their doors. I know. Sad face. I was very upset. Um, so I shared this information on my Facebook page and there were a lot of people who were like, oh my goodness, like this product was my holy grail. I don't know what I'm going to use now. This stinks, blah, 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 blah. And I will say, especially when we're dealing with indie companies um, and even major companies because they're always changing the formula, that's why I think it's important to at least have more than one holy grail in a category or at least a backup that you feel like you can go back to because like if they close then you're SOL and that stinks because all of us want to be able to buy great products for our hair and make sure our hair is awesome, right? Okay. So I did have some products in my arsenal or that I've used before um, that I thought were either very similar to Reve products or almost identical. Um, usually some of them or not some of them. They have like kind of the same ingredients list. So I don't want this to be too long and I have a pretty good amount of products to show. Um, so I'm going to get right to it. The first product is my favorite Reve product, um, their hair and bo body moisturizer. This is their uh, leave-in conditioner and I have another review on the channel on this as well. So if you have not used this product and you were wondering about it, I don't know why because you can't buy it anymore. But I do have that review. I will link to it in the details. Um, so this is like definitely hands down one of my favorite leave-ins and the leave-in I would say that this is the most like is Oi and Hairdo. Um, I actually have, I don't even have a bottle of Oi and Hairdo right now because I have a full bottle of this ready to go and I was like I need to stop buying the Hairdo at the same time I have Reve because they're like the same thing. So I didn't have the Hairdo so I can use it my Reve. Um, looking back on that, I almost want to say I wish I just had some hairdo because so I can preserve the Reve in all its glory. But uh, I mean, well, it might go bad anyway, so I better use it up now. Um, but that one is great. I love both of those products. I think they're impeccable. I also have two reviews of Oi and Hairdo that I'll also link to in the details. But they're pretty much the same, you know, make your hair soft reacts well with a lot of things, absorbs well into your hair. I just really appreciate both of those products. Moving on to the moisturizing cream from Reve. This is their thicker, heavier cream that um, has more oils and butters than the leave-in. And a lot of people would use this for sealing, um, for twists, for dry braid outs, things like that. I know I didn't like this on my hair um, when I used it on my ends to seal just because when it was reacting with the other products it was a little bit too thick and it was almost like stringy because it's so heavy but I did pick a couple of products that I thought were similar in terms of using them for twists um, so they're like my holy grail twist products and also products that I like to use to fluff my hair out. Um, Sometimes you can use a product to fluff your hair out and it doesn't absorb properly and then you have white crap in your hair or it doesn't make your hair soft, it can make your hair crunchy, it can have too much product buildup and all that. So we don't want that. So the ones I like for twists, um, I'm going to say the Twist Whip. This one does have glycerin so I don't use this a lot in the winter months um, but let me see it has, it's the seventh ingredient but this one is definitely I would say definitely my twist out holy grail even though I don't really do twists anymore because I'm lazy um, smells like vanilla looks like that always great for my twist provide great moisture um, soften my hair fairly well and isn't really gunky I really like this stuff second one not for twists for dry styles and also fluffing my hair out. I really like Oyen's Whip Pudding. This one also has glycerin, but it's like all the way down towards the bottom. The Reve does not have glycerin, but because of all the heavier butters and all that in this product, I kind of don't really see a big difference between using this product across seasons. Um, this one does seem to be, it looks like a little shinier, a little bit more oily than the, uh, 
Reve. It almost it may be a little bit more wet as well, but I think that in terms of fluffing your hair out, like this one's a key player. Love it. The other one um, I really like to use on dry styles um, and fluffing my hair out is the Sorenzo. I think Sorenzo Couture now. This is still a Sorenzo Bath and Body. It's their coconut cream. This one actually has like pretty much like totally different ingredients. So I would use this as a last resort if you were still looking for something similar. I wouldn't just jump on and try this because I think this one is a little bit more different and I'm still playing with this one a lot. But um, again, that thick cream, very uh, moisturizing, very softening to my hair and I like this because it also doesn't give me a lot of buildup. Uh oh, moving on. So, okay, moving on. The hair and body butter was a little bit trickier for me to figure out uh, what was a good alternative for that because it kind of, it has such like a unique texture. It's smooth, but it's still like, obviously you can tell it's shea butter, but I really liked how it emulsified in my hands and that made it really easy to work with. Sometimes I feel like shea-based butters um, can turn out to be a little bit gritty and then they don't I can't really you know break them down enough so I don't get weird things in my hair so the only butter that I could find that I felt even comfortable saying that they were similar or um, giving that advice to you all is the plantain spice warming body butter from Basque Beauty um, the consistency is almost the same I would say the Basque might be a little bit smoother um, but both of them, you know, emulsify wonderful in your hands. Both of them are shea based and I think both of them have that. They're along the sides of a thicker butter rather than one. You know how some butters or an oil seem kind of like sheer as soon as you put them on your hair they almost feel like they disappear. Um, but these ones are definitely heavier, definitely better to use in the winter months or when you're really trying to um, protect your ends or protect your hair. The last product I'm going to share, um, don't don't hurt me, uh, but the Moisture Mist people are talking about from Reve as well. Now, I've never used a Moisture Mist, so I can't comment on how the products would stack up against each other, but they're saying, you know, I really wanted like a glycerin-free refresher um, that doesn't, you know, make my hair spotty or anything like that. So the two glycerin-free sprays that I like are the head sprung and this is by um urban life i've had this is my holy grail uh refresher spray and i think i'm pretty sure it is the only one because i don't really use refresher sprays a lot anymore i use them more when my hair was shorter and i couldn't fluff my hair out but now i don't really use them that much or i just use my cute redo um and then the other glycerin free refresher spray I really like is the one from We Dot. That one is like, the it's called botanical something or other spray but it has aloe vera, it has really good ingredients. Um, there are also some proteins in there for strengthening and I've never had any problems with those. Now glycerin refresher sprays are not my cup of tea usually. I think they're too um, sticky a lot of the time on my hair. I kind of feel, I don't know, I feel like I'm like in a place with high humidity when I use glycerin sprays so I don't use them anymore but if you have any suggestions for a Reve alternative um, and you want to provide any input in the comments please do that um, I welcome that feedback always and if you have any comments um, let me know as well and if you have any questions just make sure you read the details and if it's not in there holler at me Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Alright, bye.